Alrighty, welcome to another episode of Life and Whiskey. This is video number two of my Mixed Drinks with Budget Whiskey uh, series. And today we're going to make a drink that I believe I invented. I have not seen it anywhere or heard of anything. And if somebody else invented it and is taking credit for it, sorry. Uh, but I just kind of thought of it one day. Uh, and it turns out that it's extremely good. I haven't had anybody thumb their nose at it yet. Uh, the only um, backlash I've received so far is on the name. I'm not much into marketing. I thought it was kind of funny anyways. Um, but, uh, yeah, other than that, I've had zero complaints, and most people put them down pretty easily and um, end up getting schnockered before they know it. So, <clears throat> the drink that I believe I invented, I call it the Spittoon or the Sheridan Spittoon, and I know what people think. When they think of that, and yeah, that's kind of gross, but um, I do live in Wyoming, so, you know, there's a lot of Copenhagen going on here. In fact, uh, Chris Ledoux, where he was born and raised and grew up, is not too far away. Um, so, you know, in honor of him and all that might be a cowboy, uh, the Sheridan Spittoon. Okay, so first we're going to start with some ice. And you can throw in as much as you want. Um, I'm not super big on ice in my drinks all the time. I don't need them extremely cold to be happy. Um, and so it's a really, really simple drink. It's kombucha, whiskey, and you can put any whiskey you want in it. Uh, I find that if you get like really high proof stuff or if you get moonshine, that absolutely disappears in it. And then you top it with um, ginger, fresh grated ginger. I have not tried it yet, but I was thinking about trying with uh, like that fresh ginger paste you can buy. I think that would go really well. Um, but <clears throat> that's it. Though just those three ingredients. If you want, you can put a little sprig of mint in there as well. If you want to go that direction with it, uh, that also goes really well. But I make my own kombucha. Uh, if you've never made your own or, or whatever, I highly encourage you to do so. It's super super easy really healthy for you, good for your gut bacteria, and um, <clears throat> so mine is, I've made it with black tea, I also have a green tea, one sitting in the other room, they're both pretty excellent, it's one and a half cups of sugar per gallon, five tea bags, and I just use the Walmart Great Value black tea or green tea bags, uh, five tea bags, and then put your SCOBY in there, and if you don't have a SCOBY, you can, um, you can either get kombucha from the store that is non-pasteurized, and you'll be able to grow one from that just by letting it sit out at, at room temperature. Or uh, if you don't want to go that route, you can just buy them on Amazon. They're like six, seven bucks shipped to your house, and you can uh, get it there from, you know, it's like Karen in, you know, Idaho or wherever sends them out. And, um, you know, just some lady somewhere selling them. But go ahead, buy one of those, uh, and start your own that way, and then you can just keep it going. Mine's been going for two years now, I think, and um, it, once my wife gets back to drinking it, I'll be back to making it four gallons at a time, and she'll blow through that in like a week and a half, two weeks. Um, but <clears throat> then I just take these old Car Carlo Rossi bottles and just throw it back in there, and then I keep it down in my basement, which is where I'm at right now. It stays about 60 degrees down here. And um, with the lid on, it'll keep carbonating, and it'll carbonate just like soda then <clears throat> and get all bubbly. And, uh, yeah, that's it. That's all there is to it. Super, super simple. Uh, I don't let mine go very vinegary. In fact, I keep it on the sweet side. Uh, Ten days, if you let it ferment at for ten days at, like, 65 degrees or above... Um, you'll be good to go. And then, like I said, I let it sit down in the basement. I've kept it down here for two months, three months, whatever. Uh, in the beginning, I like to crack them every now and again, keep that pressure down from getting out of control. Um, but other than that, haven't had any problems with anything. So, <clears throat> the recipe for the spittoon is very simple. Um, we are going to use... I think I'm going to use my early times. And it's as simple as one to three so I don't care what you do it's one part whiskey to three parts 
um, kombucha for a total of four parts. Um, I've mixed them 50-50 before, and they go down incredibly well. Um, so that's a sizable amount of whiskey uh, in a drink. Um, there's probably three ounces in there right now. And um, when you drink this, I know everybody says this about a mixed drink. You can't taste the liquor. I'll tell you right now, most of the time, depending on what whiskey you use, you cannot taste the whiskey. Um, it really does disappear. Um, so there we go. We got our kombucha in there. And then we top it, and I should have done this beforehand, but let me quickly peel this ginger root. You just go to the store, get some fresh ginger root. Um, you can, you know, shave it in there with a knife if you want. If you got a microplane like this, go ahead and put that in there. But just go ahead and grate a bunch of fresh ginger right in there. And, uh, adds a little bit of chunkage for some, uh... Gotta have some chunks, right? So you gotta have some body to what you're doing. And uh, that's all there is to it. That fresh ginger adds a nice bite to everything. And um, man, the whiskey disappears. And I call it a spittoon because of the cowboy thing. But it also has a slight, so it's sweet. It has. Um, some carbonation to it. It also has um, the bite from the ginger to it, and the ginger is very pronounced because it's fresh. Um, it also has just this slight tobacco flavor to it. Not like nasty tobacco, like a really pleasant tobacco flavor to it. Uh, it's really, really good. So this is the debut of this drink other than friends I've made it for, I've never really told anybody about it or anything like that. So, um, I highly encourage you to try one. They're absolutely amazing. So, that's it for this video on the Sheridan Spittoon. Um, go out, try it. You know, start coming up with some mixed drinks for yourself. Uh, things that you might like. I'm going to keep busting through these videos here and we'll do the next one. Um... Please like, subscribe, hit the notification bell, leave a comment, do all that stuff as you normally would do with a YouTube video. I'm trying to grow the channel. Um, if you have a comment about anything relating to uh, this channel so far, by all means, go ahead, drop that down below. Um, thank you very much for watching. I appreciate everybody who's been engaging in this and subscribing and watching these videos. Hopefully you guys are getting something out of it. And uh, I hope you guys have yourselves a great day. Hang in there. We're going to get through this COVID thing. I know we're not on lockdown anymore for most people. But, uh, yeah, we're not through it yet. But it's also not turning out to be anywhere near as horrible as people thought. So hang in there. We'll get through it. And uh, have yourself a spittoon. And maybe it'll help you out. Thanks for watching. You guys take care.